side. It means I am attacking him from the side. Okay, and that's one of them little mental flips, but if you can get that, form start to speak to you a lot more. Because the way I, I, I talk about a tap line, so I always say, you know, as we're standing here, everything about me is designed to go forwards. The eyes are in front of my head, my joints all move that way. Same for him. So if we're here, this is bad for both of us. As soon as, soon as I can get a slight angle, this is better for me. Because everything I've got is still pointing in the right direction, but not for him. Does that kind of make sense? Yes, so something we're always trying to do is be off their attack line while keeping them on yours. Okay? Now the only way I can recover, now if we're both standing here now, you can see that, okay, Ian's in front and Ian's at 45 and now he's to the side and now he's behind. Well, if I'm doing that on my own, the only way I can show you where I am in relation to him is in relation to myself. Because I'm all there is. Does that kind of make sense? You know, it's just me. So when I'm doing the form, I have to go, oh, that's right, I've got sideways onto my enemy. You know, I have to do the movement to the side. So uh, what it doesn't mean, if you can take your number rifle uh, and lower block, that's okay. Because that's how, uh, it always makes me laugh, but if you look at any, for, a lot of formal counter demonstrations, that's how they start. I've never seen a fight start like that. You know, never, you know. But the idea is he does that while I'm looking this way. I'm trying to tell his friend that we're all one and I have no weapon. <laughs> While he's pondering this quandary I've given him, he throws a punch, which gets on me, I block it, his friend throws a punch, which I block, and then I go back to the front again. Right? The, the tr it doesn't take into account the angle or what the back hand's doing. You know, what, why is the hand across the chest? One of the explanations I was given is, it's across your chest to protect your solar plexus. Well, I've been hit enough now at, uh, at times in the solar plexus, and so no, I don't like it. But I don't do, I've been poked in the eyes too. I don't do my knife hands like that. I've been kicked in the groin, I don't do my knife hands like that. Not the way it works, the hands are always active. And what the angle is telling you is the camera is now going right. Throw your hands up when you don't know what's going on. You, you, you'll hit him in some way, start to move, you'll work out what's going on. Based on what you now know, shift to his left or shift to his right. So there's an or there, there's an option. So if we, if we just flip around and we'll, we'll give, so if, I, if, if I've gone here and go fine, I'm like, okay, that's a head, that's an arm. This is the arm that I'm worried about. I know where this one is. A general rule of fighting is you move towards what you know and away from what you don't. Right? So what I'm going to do is, if you just move this way, I'm going to control that arm, I'm going to move to some 90 degree angle and I'm going to strike it. Does that look like the form of everyone? Right? Yes. Now if I felt the other arm, I would be going to this side. Does that make sense? So you just go and so I'm as far away from that thing as I possibly can be. And that's a, that, that's a first lesson of the camp there is. He's swinging his shots, I don't know what to do, bam, right, I've, I've already hit him once. I found an arm, found it, move off the side, bang. The camera shows him once, you can do it a few times if you want it. <laughs> so the camera gets it, follow-ups are possible. The camera doesn't do, you know, this thing. <laughs> you know, it, it doesn't kind of do that, it just it, it gives you a position where you've got the advantage. So we'll be there, and we walk, bang. But I can do that repeatedly, I can hit back from there as I need to. Is everyone okay with that so far? Yes, and then we'll crank his neck and knee him in his spine. This is a fun form. Yeah. Right on the back, and then it's mine. You know what I mean? And he'll get it back, but not until I've kind of hit him a few more times. You know what I mean? Or, or I can release it when I decide I want to. And besides, you can't assess, so you've got to do it that way. <laughs> um, could I have a volunteer and then do you want to do the form again next to us? I mean, is that okay? So, um, this will make sense in a minute, I promise. So we do the opening movement, so hands wide up, we go on the toes, we wedge in, we go crap. Arm circle, I find out what's going on. If it was the other arm, I would go that way. If it's the other direction, I'll go this way. On the next motion, that, that's where I want to freeze. If you don't get a bounce on my leg. So uh, uh, the hand was up to start with, that's right, then it closes, yeah? So this arm, that one here comes up, cinch it. Right? This one pushes across. So I want you to put your hand on his chin, and you notice how the palm is down. So I don't push this way, because that'll be palm flat. What I do is I push around and down. Oh. Okay? Guess where the knee goes? Oh. <laughs> the knee goes straight to the base of the spine. Is, that's enough from now. Is everyone okay with that? Because this is something Katner does, right? Katner, um, I, I call it continuous advantage. Every movement of every form creates, maintains, and exploits advantage. I, 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 I jumped to my stew and saying, the next so I can move so well, so we've got, gone there, next bit, comes in with the kick, next bit we've got this bit here. So, um, <laughs> that second bit's horrible, so we'll freeze frame on the first bit. 
Right, so it turns, weights forward, one arm comes in, one goes, right? So we've hit this side of the neck. To be polite, we should really hit this side as well. It's probably feeling left out. Right, so once we've gone from there, we're going to bring this arm round from here, and you're going to club on this side. That's going to bring his face down towards you. At the same time, do that, you strike into his face with your hand. Is everyone okay with that one? On the next movement, so that arm can be either way, it's negative. On the next movement, this arm's going to go underneath his chin. Right, it's going to start ripping the head backwards, and I'm going to take hold of his arm as I do it. Okay, so he ends up here. Is everyone all right with that? No, no, from here. You like that? Oh, you wait, wait. You have to say the next bit, yeah. Right? So this is, now from here, I can move into my strangles, I can knee him, I can take him down, I can hit back him, I can rip his all sorts. But, you know, the kind of goes, well, OK, what if this doesn't quite work? He says, well, if that didn't work, hit him again. Back. <laughs> and then on the next one, grab the back of his head and his chin. <sighs> OK, finish him off on the last one. See, I knew you'd like that one, Bob. <laughs> so, um, swap it here. Arm um, under turn. Kick. Impact in the head. And uh, uh, crank the arm back this way. So that's the first one, put the hand on the side of the head, smash it in the face again. <coughs> Grab the top of the head with the hand in the face, pull back and finish off. So, uh, opening movement of the form is, uh, the arms go up from there, yeah, is to just find our way through the chaos. Find out what's going on, as soon as I know what's going on, I move left or right. In this case, I'm going that way. Having done that, I cinch the arm up, I push through, I knee from there, I get, I get my hand on the target, and I impact. Okay? For the sake of our drill, he's going to swing a hook shot shot in from there. The next motion takes him down and brings him back up. And then, next bit, pass it through and hits him, bends it out, hits him, which he blocks. Next motion, advancing forward, take the arm back, shoot on. Next one, trying to do the same again. No, we keep doing this all day. We've got to do the Nukate from there, a guy that arm pass, and Nukate strike here. If he blocks this, get the idea like that. Okay, so I went to do the strike and went by. What I then do, do the next motion. He's push this arm down, bring this one here, bring the arm up through, turn and strike. Kick him, and move forward, smash him in the face once, crank him back once, smash him again. <laughs> really crank him. Is everyone okay with that? <laughs> right, okay, so, so.